63 and 64 as amended, stand part of the bill. Say aye. aye. Those against say nay. The ayes have. You may, you may read it. Any senator may challenge the opinion of the president or the chairman of, or the, or the chairman by claiming a division. Two, if the opinion of the president of the Senate or in the committee of the whole Senate, the chairman as a division of a question is challenged. The president of the Senate or the chairman shall direct that the lobbies be cleared and on such direction being given, all doors leading to the chamber shall be locked and the division bell shall be rung for one minute. After the lapse of two minutes from the direction to clear the lobbies, the president of the Senate or the chairman shall put the question a second time. And if his opinion is again challenged, a division shall be taken by the, by the clerk. Shall, shall, shall. shall be taken by the clerk, calling each senator's name and asking each senator separately how he desires to vote and recording the vote accordingly. The clerk thereafter reads the names and announces, announces the number of those who have voted for and against the proposal. And the president or the chairman shall declare the result of the division. The president, it doesn't matter. Let I am let calling it. that let, us, let, let the procedure for a division be taken and let's have a division. The consensus from the first section of this bill to where we are today. I don't want a, just a simple section of the bill to jeopardize all the efforts that we have uh, displayed since we came into this chamber on the 9th of June. Mr. President, I want to assure you that you still, you still earn our respect, you still earn our support, and you have earned our trust. What we are appealing to you is that it is good to pass a good law. It is also good to ensure that the law that we have passed in the four walls of this chamber is easily, effectively, and peacefully implemented. Mr. President, you have borne the consciousness of even the host community in the Niger Delta. And based on the presentation of the GMD, today, the host community might be in the, in the Niger Delta. But as we speak today, in the next couple of months, our people in Bauchi and Gombe will equally join the host uh, community. So, Mr. President, there are two things, sir. One is that the unity of this Senate is more important and more valuable to each and every one of us here. Therefore, in achieving that unity, Mr. President, a shift will not change the situation. We quite agree, even if we have not passed it, even if, even if we have passed it, even a rule book says you can come under a substantive uh, motion. We, 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 but we are still considering the report. So, Mr. President, please listen to the uh, Justice Manager. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, we are now talking about a people, a people that have sacrificed a lot for this country. Mr. President, no amount of percentage we put in this particular law that will be too much for these people we are talking about. You have, Mr. President, in 2000, in 2000 and 12, you were seated somewhere there, and you were very passionate about what was happening in the Northeast region. I brought a motion. I almost wept. At the end of the day, the then presiding officer, Senator David Mack, had to invite you for a discussion, because everybody was moved by your deep show of emotion. I am not from the Northeast region. David Mark is not from the Northeast region. At the same time, so many of our colleagues, not from there, but we were moved. Mr. President, look at us. You are president, we voted for you. 
and therefore Niger Delta people voted for you. Mr. President, this is law. This thing we are talking about is not coming to the pockets of anybody here. This, everything is defined. And for the first time, in all interventions in the Niger Delta region, this is the, the particular one that will go direct to the oil bearing communities. Mr. President, this is a very serious matter. We are talking about 5%. The 5% is not too much. You have headed this place very well. We admire your, life, your, your administrative style. We agree with you on almost every issue. This one is a very naughty one, Mr. President. Very naughty. You are our leader. We are, are your followers. Please, Mr. President, lead us very well. This particular case that is before us is something that is very bitter for us to swallow. A very bitter pill for us to swallow. My respected colleagues, my respected colleagues from outside of the Niger Delta region, just like Senator Albert Akpan said, very soon, by the grace of God Almighty, Amen. who provides for everybody, Amen. including Koki, Amen. you could become an oil producing community, oil producing state one day. This is law, not just for today, but for also tomorrow. Please bear with us. Please bear with us. The 5% is not too much. It's never too much, Mr. President. <laughs> of every parliamentarian all over the world call for to call for division when he feels that what is being obtained is wrong. But as the senior president, if you appeal to me something on personally and I did, I did not take it, do not be in the last, last mood. But I will say something. Two suggestions. It may work. It wouldn't work. What I'm asking for is not for me as a person, but it's for the interest of this nation. Because when we pass a good law, we must also have a good environment to implement the law. If the environment is not conducive for the implementation, we will all come back to also regret. That is my, that, that is my thinking. So can I appeal to you, sir? That you increase the number a little bit and put the question again. Let's 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 let's, 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 have, let's, a let's, let's have a compromise, sir. But I I withdraw. I withdraw. I'm not appealing to you. Instead. Yes. You will. Sorry, point of order. What point of order? Point of order again. No, there cannot be point of order. This one is decided. That petty motion. There cannot be any point of order. This one is decided. Oh, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Uh, distinguished colleagues, of all those people who do not wish this nation well, to now start embarking or dividing ourselves along direction and along lines and along certain fault lines that could cause division and disunity for this country. I think that is a path to Armageddon. So I appeal to my brother order, and friend. Order. I appeal to my brother and friend, distinguished Senator Joe Sekibo, to please withdraw this point of order and allow us to continue. Distinguished colleagues, I think um, we have taken enough of the point of order. We have to make progress, but let me thank once again Senator Sakibo for his understanding. We are past the stage of uh, uh, standing order division. What we, what we need to do is to, in my opinion, continue with this. If we are not able to change it, now, let's make some further efforts at another time. I don't know, as shortly as possible, because we had done this before with the finance bill. We passed the finance bill. In fact, uh, maybe two, three months. Senator Adiola, how many, how many months? Three months later. 
we call for amendment of some of the provisions. Three months later, we had an amendment of the finance bill. And I want to take this opportunity uh, to appeal to all of us. This is not the be all and all and all. We still have other opportunities. Let's make progress and continue with this. But let's keep it in view that we will still try to talk to ourselves if they, after even passing. What can we do? So please, we make progress. Thank you. Clause 241.